Now I've been promising to make you a rice pudding forever. Well, I don't know whether it's been that long, but I have been promising. But of course I couldn't leave it alone, could I? So I was going to make an old fashioned one, you know, like my mum used to make, you know, with the crust on it. When I said crust skin, it was really, wasn't it? But I got a bit excited and carried away and Ruth came up with this one and made it and it was absolutely delightful. And it's a coconut rice pudding. So at a later date, I will make an old fashioned one. So first of all with this, 125 grams of basmati rice. 600 mils of full fat milk. Now it has to be the real stuff, none of the skinny stuff. 400 mils of coconut milk. We stir this, now it's very important that you stir these things, and I'll tell you why. Problem is, if you don't stir it, it can scorch. So the idea is we want to bring this to the boil and then we will turn it down, cover it and cook it for about 20-25 minutes, stirring it every now and then. Now you want it to be soupy, you don't want it to be thick, thick, thick. I've got some fresh figs here, and now I know they're expensive, but oh they're beautiful aren't they? And I'm going to put some good balsamic, some aged balsamic on that. And I'm also going to put some maple syrup. If you haven't got maple syrup, you could use honey, but I think maple syrup is pretty darn wonderful with this. And that goes into the oven and we allow that to cook. Just put it down fairly low. You know, I don't want it right up the top because I want it to be ready about the same time as my, my lovely rice pudding. Let's have a look. I've been keeping an eye on it. It's all right, kids. And, it, and it's certainly not scorching. Three or four tablespoons of sugar. Third of a cup of raisins. One teaspoon of vanilla extract. Not essence, extract. So you're getting some nice flavorings in here. Half a teaspoon of cinnamon. And then we cook that three or four minutes. And then we allow it to cool a little because it'll thicken even more. All right, this is looking good. I should have tasted it before I put it in there. Now, I want this to cool a little, and then I'm going to brulee it. Well, I'm going to attempt to brulee it, I should. I'm not very good at bruleeing things with blow torches. I'm really not. I tend to mess it up a bit. But anyway, not today. It's gonna to be absolutely perfect. Some caster sugar, just, I always put it in a, a fine sieve. Just to make sure there's no lumps. And the other thing is to make sure that it goes on evenly. All right, not absolutely perfect, but it'll be nice. It'll harden a bit. Now, next which are looking rather good. Oh, this, this smells beautiful, it really does. Nice dollop of honey yogurt on the top. The most beautiful balsamic and maple syrup glazed figs. Fresh figs, of course. Coconut rice pudding. And to go with that, something fortified. If I hadn't used it about 400 times, maybe a Pedro Jimenez, but what I've got here is even better. It's a Madeira, and it's actually from the island of Madeira, which is just off Portugal. And it's really sort of the creme de la creme of fortified wines. All right, guys, you'll enjoy that. Maybe I could have done a little bit better with my brulee top, but I'm sure it'll still taste pretty damn good.